Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, well, we're going to be upgrading to a Tier 5 rocket. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, welcome back to this, uh... This really scary dimension that we left off, which is the gas ball planet of Jupiter. Um, so gravity here is uh, is kind of weird. Um, so to fix that, I think we can make some uh, gravity controllers. And I think we're going to need four of these in order to get what I want. The craft is acting so weird. So we'll split these up. Awesome. I ended up making those wafers before I come back, but uh, I might be able to do this quick enough. Um, how much damage do I take? Okay, so not much if we do this quick. Let's hurry up and do this quick. Four. There we go. Space boots. And we don't have power. Okay. So I need to take these boots back. <laughs> Charge them up because uh, that, of course, removes all power, but... Hopefully our gravity situation is going to be better once they have some power. So I'm back. I got it all charged up. You guys mentioned this uh, nifty little trick here that I didn't even know was a thing. <laughs> but uh, apparently you can do this. Uh, let me go ahead and copy that real quick. And then we can actually go ahead and just name this planet on here. And basically you can call it whatever you want. Oh, our... Uh, our experience, of course, is going to be broken because we just went to a different dimension. I don't have a good way of fixing that. Okay, anyways, you can name your uh, your place like that, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so, for example, home base now shows up when we hover over it because I labeled that one. But because there's a little glitch in uh, 112 of Minecraft where if you travel between dimensions, your experience level can disappear. That's, yeah, that's just a, a bug within 112. It's, it's normal. So... We need to find a dungeon, because I believe, if we look on our map here, <laughs> in Jupiter, um, there's actually a dungeon. Has dungeon. So there's a boss here. I, I don't know what to expect from a boss on such a planet as this, where the time goes by really fast. Like, day cycles are really fast. Night cycles are really fast. Horrible things are bound to happen. Luckily, we have a jetpack. And I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about the... I think the gravity helps me land a little bit better. The gravity controller. Man, but it is still... Rather laggy in this... On this planet. It's, uh... It's no joke. Um... Yeah. It definitely, uh... Oh, what is this? What is... What is this? Ooh. Pretty blocks. Red block from extra planets. Is this like a safe room? Like a base? Is it? What is this? Wow, okay, so we are going to die if I'm not careful. Oh, there's chests. There are there are chests in here. Oh, there was a door. I totally missed the door. Um what loot might we have in here? Nothing? Is this like for me? Man, it is so loud here. It is just absolutely loud. Okay, there's beds. Jute boxes. No loot. Okay, so no loot. Just just red blocks and a base. Now, is there loot in this? There might be loot in this. I don't know. We need to go up to the top. Wow, I take so much damage. Oh, it's got the uh, the iron in here. And then a piece of TNT. For whatever reason. Oh, a chest? Oh, that's why. That makes total sense. It, it's a it's a trap. Why are they trying to trap me? That I don't know. Wow, we are gonna take so much fall damage if I don't. Can like I didn't check. Can we? I don't even think we can enchant these. Oh man, we need some like anti fall damage stuff, or we're gonna like literally die. So there's a village over here. And, uh, it's a glitched out village, but it's a village nonetheless. <laughs> They're definitely floating. Um, are you guys any different than the other ones I've experienced? Doesn't really look like it. Pretty much the same. Basic wafer, tier two, moon buggy, tier two. Yep, pretty much the same guys as the ones we just experienced on series. Um, yep, just made out of Jupiter stone and giant pillars here. Ooh, what is this, though? 
This, the, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost went to the magma. How? I have no idea. Felt like it sort of gave out on me. What is this? I don't think, I think this is actually part of that. Oh, okay. That makes, that makes sense. Okay. I'm just, I'm just losing it here. This planet is, is kind of crazy. So I have literally been searching for this for some time now. It is just about as hard as any other area, except for this one makes it a little bit easier to find because I can just walk around and keep spamming it over and over again until something, until you see the orb actually show up and it doesn't we'll pop up a little message um, but we got to find the entrance to this place so that could be uh, an issue what is this oh there it is <laughs> perfect um, and we're not all that far away um, we're about 400 meters away um, which is about how far we were from the other locations and as you can see it was right here by this <laughs> right here by this village that we uh, we took a look at that yeah has this in the, the lava so, I don't know if that's a coincidence or, or what, um, but the spawners are down here, which means we can go down here and kind of see what we need to do. I'm going to grab a sword just in case. Um, where's my good... Oh, I have my sword on me. Okay. Good, good, good. I just need to make sure I have my swords on me. And then I need my light wand on me, which I think is in my offhand. No? In my bag? No? No? Where in the world did I throw my light wand? I was totally looking over it. Uh, YouTuber blindness right there. That's that's exactly what that is. That's YouTuber blindness. So, yeah, we take a lot of fall damage. Easy. Easy. Nice. Okay. Whew. All right. It's so loud here, though. So loud. Cheese curds. Mm, man, cheese curds sound really good. Deep fried cheese curds. That Those are the best. Deep fr I, don't, I don't know about you guys. If you've, if you've never had... Deep fried cheese curds. Oh man. And then, and then like deep fried cheese curds with like some uh, some caramel. Man, I hope you guys aren't hungry right now because I'm sure you're going to be after this episode. Um, but man, deep fried cheese curds are literally the best. I, I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's an opinion. Definitely of mine. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. Some people like me might be like, oh, cheese, man. I don't like cheese. But man, I, I don't know. There's something about them. That, and that just reminded me of them. All right, we gotta get, whoa, he just spawned like right in front of me. We gotta get through this. Okay, let's go ahead and knock this out. Get this guy, is there, I say, there's gotta be spawners in here, right? And us breaking these spawners actually is a good thing for us um, because if we wanna make a spawner changer, we get spa we get these uh, spawner shards and that helps us make spawner changers later on down the road, which is uh, definitely worth it. Look at that, another notch apple, some golden apples. Uh, yes, I'll actually use some golden apples for this battle. Because I don't know what to expect from this battle. I don't know what this boss is. I don't know anything about this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and eat these apples. And let's do this. It is a bat. Can I just, like, shoot it? Oh, I can't. I'm, like, automatically... It's a ghast bat. <laughs> oh, that, that did a little bit of damage. Are we doing any damage to it, or are we just shooting these back at it? It's doing the damage. I think shooting it back at it is definitely doing the damage. Oh, don't let it hit us. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is going to be, like, pretty simple, I think. I think we're doing damage to it just by hitting it with this. With our shuriken. This is hilarious, though. Oh, no. Magma pour Magma's pouring in. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not, like, fireproof. I'll keep it over there. But what if our key... What if our key gets burnt? I hope they made it, like, fireproof, at least. Uh, we gotta fix this. We've gotta fix these holes. They're, we have to. Alright, let me get it over here. No, no, no. 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 Oh, no. I'm making it worse. I need to stop. Let's just focus on killing it. Okay. And then hopefully my magnet will do me justice. And 
Magnet, do me justice. Do not let this thing burn up in the lava. Please. Key. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was my big concern. I was like, oh no. It took so long to find this place. It took so long. Okay, please give me the schematic I want. And... Tier 5 rocket. Oh my goodness. Actually, you know what? Beyond tier 5, we're gonna need to go to tier 6 to, to actually get through this pack. Um, so, me getting here is just the beginning of something? Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer. A little bit longer. This isn't the only place that we need to, to visit. Um, so, Saturn is technically going to unlock some resource material stuff for us. That's where I want to go. Um, so that means we need to quarry this planet out. We definitely need to quarry this planet out. Uh, but I was looking at the, uh, the like, questing part side of this, and uh, it does seem... Let me break a little bit of this. Ooh, we need... Is this uh, the Jupiter Iron, Jupiter Nickel? I think say, we do need um, some materials that are from this dimension, I believe, for this uh, Tier 5 rocket. Um, so Tier 5 rocket needs heavy-duty plates that are made with compressed palladium, and we get palladium in this dimension, also with the heavy-duty plates, so... Got a lot of work ahead of us, um, <laughs> as far as plate making goes. Um, but we're, we're there. We are reaching that point of this pack, and I cannot believe that we are at that point. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of mind-blowing, really. So while I'm here, I might as well get this set up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select a pretty decent sized area. Doesn't have to be super huge or anything. Uh, because I think we should be able to collect enough palladium to get us far enough just by clearing out this hole here. Hopefully that works anyways. Um, that should be big enough. Uh, we do need to actually increase the size here to like 200. You know, that'll be fine. Minus 100. Actually, minus 50. And that should be good. Uh, we could probably drop it a little bit lower than that as well. Minus 70. It's getting there. <laughs> Minus 100. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, that's actually perfect right there. Minus... We'll do minus 80 or 90. Minus 90. Seems, seems reasonable to me. Oh, yeah, that should be perfect. Okay. So we have that power. I think we just need our lever. And then I need to sift out some items. I don't know how many uh, or what all of, of the items I want to keep. Uh, I do want to keep some of them. Um, let's go ahead and set this up. There we go. And I think we should be good. Not enough room. Nor suitable storage on top or below. I think that's the old message. Because um, if I do this... Yeah, it should start working. And we're going to get this orange sand and Jupiter stone. I don't really want that. Um, I do, however, want to see some ore build up in here. And I want to make sure, like this Jupiter iron ore. When we hook this up, I, we need to be careful. Uh, because I don't want it to trash ore. So I need to open this up immediately. Allow, do set that to, to that. And then I want to say Jupiter stone. I, I want to trash that. So let's trash Jupiter stone. And you're going to see it disappear. Is it going to trash the ore? No. Okay, good. Oh, that's what I was worried about. I was worried if it was going to trash the ore. And so thankfully it's not. So there we go. So that should be decent enough right here to turn that quarry on. And let it start running, running wild. <laughs> Mining out a giant hole. I don't, I don't even know where it started, but uh, somewhere over here. Oh, probably here. Yeah, this. That is where it started. And yeah, it's gonna mine all this out over time, and uh, we should be good. We should be good. Look at it. Look at it go. Look at it do its thing. Super, super satisfying. So wow, I, I went back to my base. <laughs> To, to do some processing of some ore. Um, I just wanted to get some of the plates started up processing because I knew I was going to need at least a whole nother set. So I just got a stack of the plates um, started up. 
Um, but as you as you can see, we are getting pretty much what what we need. Uh, this is the palladium, right here. And I don't know if we can double up on the palladium. Like, I, is the palladium double upable? Oh, it's super simple. We just oh, it's just like the mercury. I love this. We can just toss it in the arc furnace and just it gives us two. That's that's fantastic. That's 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 what I was hoping it was, uh, because that makes my life so much easier as far as crafting goes. So we get to take that palladium that is being generated, and uh, yeah, we got to make a bunch of palladium plates. Like, a, I mean, a lot of palladium plates. Like, I don't think you understand. It, it, a lot. Like, we're gonna need somewhere close to what one, two, three, four, five stacks of palladium plates. So basically, we're gonna need five stacks of palladium. So uh, that should be obtainable. As I, I mean, I was only I was only away from that dimension for maybe ten minutes, if that. And I had already generated over a stack and a half from the quarries. So I think we should be fine for getting that. Like literally, I, I think we might have enough stuff to build the tier five rocket today. Um, because I've already been working on um, getting the heavy duty plates ready. Um, and then right here, the heavy duty plates. And then I believe it's not in here. This is the palladium. Here's the heavy duty plates. So yeah, I have all these heavy duty plates that I've been working on. And I also have my mercury, right? No, no, mercury was put in here. Um, Where did it go? I, did I literally lose it? <laughs> that makes no sense. I don't know why I did that. I had it in another chest. I guess I just when I was sorting things out, I had moved stuff around because I was trying to get things to work. Um, and we also have our carbon, which I have more in here. So yeah, I, <laughs> I have all my stuff. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm to the point where like it's getting hard to keep up with this stuff, which of course I should have probably set up a Plight Energistic system to automate this, but... This just seems so simple to me to just like set up a couple to do the processes. They're done. I don't. I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was enough to warrant like a super large auto crafting system. It, just in my opinion. So I wanted to put this into perspective for those who may have been have been watching this series uh, all throughout, and we're we're now on episode forty eight. It, it seems like forty episodes or so, just or even thirty episodes, just doesn't feel like a, a lot of content right like I've I, it does it's a lot of content but it feels like man I, I've, I've progressed like I, super fast and blah 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 it, really it's not been fast at all uh, just to take a look just to show you guys how much actual time I have put into this world seven days this is seven IRL days in this game just just this pack not this game this mod pack alone i think this is literally becoming one of the longest played worlds i have ever had um seven days right and just since my last death has been seven hours in this game and uh believe me that is with no afk time other than like i, I think i afk'd for like 30 or 40 minutes um when I had this spawner in here. So just to put that in perspective, that's literally it. I like hardly any AFK time whatsoever. Um a lot of it I, I think if 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 there like was a mod that showed you the indentions as you walked over the blocks you were walking on, this wood right here, this me walking back and forth, me walking like here and here, and yeah, I, I don't I don't even know. Does it show? I jump a lot, so inside my statistics, it should say like jumped, items dropped, um, let's see, some other crazy statistics. This, these are just really cool to look at. Um, if you didn't know th that Minecraft tracked all these things, they, they really do, it's pretty cool. Um, cake slices eaten, because <laughs> we found cake. Um, of course, no player kills, no fish caught, even though I have a bunch of fish, just because they keep dying. Um, there's no need to fish whenever, I mean, I guess there's no need to fish whenever, I mean, the fish literally just generate in the world. Um, what does that say? Turned cranks? What? I think that's from Applied Energistics. Yeah, it's from AE2. AE Chess open. That was definitely from early on. 100%. Interactions with Furnace 50 times. That's not even the big numbers, though. Damage dealt. One of the biggest numbers has to be jumping if it shows it. 
Um, I don't see that, that statistic on here. But maybe I'm just overlooking it. <laughs> but the times jumped. Right here, jumps. 37,000 times I've hit the jump button in this world. I have hit this jump button over 37... I am so sorry, Spacebar. I am so sorry. <laughs> With my palladium being finished, I should now be able to set this up. Uh, so, yes, this is the palladium that I've been working on for quite a while. And I should totally have enough, uh, I think. Almost enough. Well, enough for 32. Right, uh, maybe... Actually, more than 32, actually. I think. <laughs> here, I, I, I'm sitting here trying to calculate it, and I could just do this. Just to evenly separate everything. Just to see where we're at. 47, that's actually not bad. And this is going to make it at 51? Oh, yeah, that's, that's... I think that's more than enough than we need. I think we only need, like... Well, I say 40, I think, is all we need to build the actual, the rocket itself. Um, and I, like, like all the other rockets, it's pretty much the same sort of deal. Um, we just have to build it. So let this thing rock and roll and give me those, uh, those plates. Uh, oh, here's, oh wait, here's the other palladium. I thought I had five. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm not off. <laughs> I'm definitely not off. Actually, now all of them are off. Uh, it's okay, though. It, I'll, I'll fix it. So after waiting a tad bit, it's it's done. I mean, we have 60 of the palladium. And of course, we still have some heavy plates. Um, we are going to need a few of them. So uh, just to just to craft pretty much any of the, uh, the stuff for here, for this uh, Tier 5 rocket, we are going to need them, like, for the fins. Uh, so four fins. How much... Uh, how many of the heavy... I might need to make more, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to make more of the heavy plates. Uh, just to get... Actually, maybe not. Is that the only thing that requires it? I think it is. I think just the fins, and we only need... Let's say two, four, six, eight. We need, we need eight for those. Actually, we have enough. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, so I just need to make the fins. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, so four fins. That's pretty straightforward. The same thing that we've been making over and over again are these engines. I mean, it's just simply just a matter of flint and steel and literally a button. It's like the recipes for this, it looks bad, but it's it's really not. Especially once you craft it over and over again. And I'm kind of crafting it here so you kind of see what gets crafted. Uh, the only thing that takes a little bit of time to craft is just these fuel canisters as... I have to go and actually fill them up. Um, and first, I have to make the fuel canisters, and you can't just click on it to, to make it. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, blue wool. We need compressed compladium. Uh, compressed <laughs> compladium. Compressed palladium, uh, which we have uh, more of, because, of course, not all of it got used. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we're about to make a tier five rocket. Like, I'm not even joking that. I can't believe I let myself go this far <laughs> into Galactic Craft, but I'm really enjoying Galactic Craft. I'm having a lot of fun, uh, but there's still a lot of stuff that we haven't even touched. Oh man, this mod pack is like, you don't realize like everything seems so small and compact until you start playing it to this point and then bam, it just explodes into all mods. Like there's just so much to do at this point. It's just crazy. Um, and it takes so long to get here, though. Um, so, uh, right here, it says, Launch uh, to Saturn, land on it, collect Saturn surface rocks to complete the advancement. So, land on Saturn, and uh, it says right here that uh, Inferium Essence is an important item to begin uh, mystical agriculture. Um, create it using um, items from a number of locations. Create it using items from a number of locations. I'm pretty sure Inferium Essence is... I thought it was on Saturn? I could be wrong, though. Um, actually, yeah, Inferium Essence. I thought I seen it on here. So there's, there's the Inferium Ore. So yeah, it comes from Keplar Iron? Wait, what? Starlight Infusion. Keplar 22B Iron... <laughs> what? <laughs> is that really what it is? 
Inferior more. No, no. It's right here. So it's content tweaker added. Inferium ore, and I think it spawns on Saturn. Right? I'm I've seen I've seen that somewhere. I think I, I think I've seen it somewhere. <laughs> uh, there's also Neptune and Yeah, I crafted tier four spacesuit, which we're probably gonna have to do. We, yeah, we're probably gonna have to make another spacesuit uh, before long, so that'll be something that we also have to have some stuff for. Um, but as far as making this rocket, let's go ahead and craft it. So I went ahead and crafted up the boosters and oh, I almost forgot. We do need to change this up. Um, let's go back in here and change up a few things. We need last but not least our Galacticraft schematic. That's what it's called, right? I think it's called it's under extra planets. Yeah, it's under extra planets um, because that's the add-on mod that is adding this. Let's go all the way over to tier four and then add new schematic. Bam. All right. And then back and we have the tier five rocket. Oh, man, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I can't say enough good things about this pack because it is it is honestly really good. All right. So here we go. <laughs> tier five rocket. All of that work leading up to this massive Tier five rocket. Ah, <sighs> wow. We even have a little swirly bit up on the top of the rocket. This model is pretty, pretty sick looking. <laughs> Look at that. Is that like little probes on the side? I have no idea what that is, but it's, it's really cool. So I was just checking some things and it does seem like our spacesuit should be suitable. Um, and I don't know about our thermal insulation. Um, I'll have to check that. But it does seem like because of the materials this is made out of, so this is the tier two in which we do have the materials for this as it requires, um, I believe, titanium, right? So we had those materials. The tier three, however, uh, requires um, a, a little bit higher. Actually, this requires palladium and palladium. So actually, we might need to upgrade to tier three is what it's looking like. Definitely probably need to upgrade to tier three now that I, I see this. So before we do anything next episode, we're definitely going to have to make this custom armor and uh, get our brand new spacesuit because tier three, here we come spacesuit. We have to upgrade this bad boy before we make the journey to Jupiter. Yes. Um, now, as far as this planet goes, it doesn't look too horrible. Uh, radiation level is, of course, zero. Breathable, of course, that. Uh, corrosive atmosphere is the same. Oh, wait, this is Jupiter. Where is... Uh... We need to go to Saturn. There's Saturn. Okay, so corrosive atmosphere is still true on this one. Um, radiation is still zero, which is great. Um, and I thought normally Jupiter had radiation, but it doesn't seem like it does. Uh, because radiation is, is not fun to deal with on these planets. Um, so, yeah, everything seems okay. Um, I'm just looking at it, everything. I mean, it's just probably going to be a darkish planet, I think. Other than that, we should be good. It looks like, yeah, we have liquid glowstone. Um, I'm, I'm trying to see, is there, it doesn't tell me if there's anything on here. These planets, of course, have, or these, uh, these moons have certain things on them. We're going to have to kind of find out where the uh, the stuff comes uh, as far as mystical agriculture. I still want to know where the Inferium essence itself comes from. Oh, Saturn slime ore. Okay, that's where it was coming from. I was trying to... I thought I had seen it somewhere that it was coming from somewhere, but I, I also seen that, you know, there is an ore. Saturn slime ore from extra planets is going to give us Inferium essence. Okay, so that's... Something that we need to know. <laughs> okay, perfect. So as always, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to one of my patrons, and that's gonna be a thanks to Polly Stewart. Thank you so much for uh, being a patron, especially for as long as you have been a patron. I really do appreciate you. And uh, if you're looking to become a patron yourself, of course, you can find that linked down in the description below. Let's go ahead and place this down. Wow, that is a awesome backdrop to an awesome series so far. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. If you are, of course, be sure to show your support by clicking that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend doing so. Also, if you would, 
be sure to leave a comment down below. If you're interested in something or have a question, be sure to ask it down in the comment section below. Um, or you can hop on our, our Discord and uh, join that community there if you have some questions as well. There's always some awesome people over there who's willing to help. So guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, of course, like I said, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>